find the domain of the function. This is problem number 14. m of x equals 2x minus 5 divided by x plus 3. Whenever we are dealing with functions that consist of a fraction or a ratio, we have rational functions. As with a regular fraction, we cannot have zero in the denominator. So to find the domain, we are basically uh, um, finding this value that would make the denominator equal to zero, which in math is undefined. To get a better understanding, let's first graph this function on a graphing calculator to look at the picture. So here we have our graphing calculator and we are going to uh, plug in this function. Start by pressing on y equals and then we have 2x minus 5 in the numerator. We have to use parentheses to make sure the calculator understands what we are trying to do. So 2x minus 5 closed parentheses for the numerator. If you don't put uh, parentheses, the only thing that the calculator would divide is the negative 5 divided by x, so those two values. So now the, for the division bar, use the division sign and then also put the denominator into parentheses, which is x plus 3. Now we can hit graph, and this is how the graph would look of a rational function. So as you can see, there is a break in the graph, which happens approximately right here. And that would be the value that makes the denominator of this fraction zero. So mathematically, to find this value, we have to take the denominator, which is x plus 3, and set it equal to zero. Solve for x, subtracting 3 from both sides, then x equals negative 3. So remember the domain was all the x values, which means on the x-axis, if this is the function, we would have values coming from the negative direction, indicating negative infinity, and those x values go all the way to the point negative 3, then negative 3 is not included, and then this is the second part of this function. So the values of x starting again at negative 3, and they are going all the way to positive infinity. Writing this in set builder notation, we write curly bracket x such that x is not equal to negative 3. And if we wanted to write that in interval notation, we say the x values, reading the graph from the left side, so the x values starting at negative infinity, they are going to negative 3 negative 3 is not included, so we use parentheses, but also, so we're using the union symbol, they start again at negative 3, negative 3 is not included, so parentheses, and then they are going to continue into the positive direction, which is infinity. So in set builder notation and in interval notation finding the domain of a rational function.